All right, everybody, I'm back, but I'm late, but I'm back with uh, everything I got in October. Um, I was on vacation right at the end of October, beginning of November, so I didn't have time to shoot this, and I figured I'd get some stuff where I when I went on vacation, and I did get a couple things, not as much as I wanted to, but hey, it is what it is. So start off with my comic haul. I got Star Wars 23, normal cover. I got Walking Dead 150... Eight and fifty-nine. I think these are the normal covers. Pretty sure. And then I got variant covers. The Whisper War. I just got a. Uh, the last trade paperback, so I'm not fully caught up. Just because I like to read the trade papers. That way I get a whole. I can kind of binge read it more or less. Um, I found uh, this for. Cover price, four bucks. Another action figure variant. It's Anakin from that one's from Obi Wan and Anakin. And then we didn't even know when we were comic shopping, but there's this, I guess it's a Halloween comic fest. Vader number one, Dr. Afra. Free, so can't complain about free comics, especially Star Wars. And this is actually really cool. Um, my buddy, he has a full run of. Uh, all of the uh, action figure variants with the sketches like he has the only CGC 9.8 um, black and white Luke from the first issue but he actually went and got everything he had signed and he got a couple extra signed by uh, you see it's signed right parallel to his leg there um, by John Tyler Christopher the guy who does all the Marvel covers which is pretty cool and then I found Han and Carbonite for four dollars as well and then a 2-1-B. I don't need a 2-1-B, but it came for free in an auction with something I definitely did need, which is a green card Lando, which are stupid rare for some reason. I think it's because these were, and I'm remembering this from 20 years ago, these were only in a Sam's Club slash Costco three pack. It was the only time he was ever on green card. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So he was just never on a peg by himself. And then, <laughs> when I found this, I was like, yeah, I'm pretty much buying that. There's no way I'm not going to buy this. But I'm afraid it has started a slippery slope. It is a 1993 Jurassic Park Alan Grant. <laughs> uh, these are one of my first uh, first sets I ever collected, really. I wasn't really collecting. I was playing with them. A little six-year-old or seven-year-old me. By the way, I got... Got it for 22 bucks, which I think is a pretty good price. But then I had a 20% off uh, coupon, so I got it for like seven, 18 bucks, 17 bucks and change, whatever that math comes out to. But just looking at the back of this thing is like why I like to collect shit. So, like, I will go down memory lane real quick. I definitely had Tim. I definitely had Alan. I definitely had Ellie. For sure, I had Robert Muldoon. I Pretty sure I had Dennis Nedry. You know what? I think Dennis Nedry came with a squirt bottle. Yeah, I'm, 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 pretty, I'm pretty sure I had him. Definitely had Velociraptor. Definitely had Dilophosaurus. Definitely had him. Definitely had him. Don't think I ever found them, but I think they're rare, too. That's probably why I never found them. Uh, did not have that Velociraptor, but I think I had that Dilophosaurus. Definitely had the big T-Rex. Uh, the only things I think that I didn't have from Series 1 of everything were the... Command compound and this guy. I think I had everything else. I had the big Stegosaurus. Had them all. But I'm really happy to have this. It's not in perfect condition by any means. The card's a little a tad bit beat. I mean, it's not anything too crazy. If I was grading it on the comic scale, it might be like a 7.5. Bubbles. Pretty good shape. It's crushed a little bit here, but I mean, other than that, Pretty solid. But really happened to have my first Jurassic Park piece in 20 years. But that's it. That's what I picked up for this month. Um, usually, well, I was going to say usually November and December is slower for me because I'm busy at work and I'm broke. But I have a case of something pre ordered that should be here this month or next month. So that's for sure happening. And then if you saw my other videos that I either have uploaded or will upload, uh, I bought a box of Pokemon cards. 
it's all just like nostalgia month. But that's it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, appreciate it. Like the video if you made it this far. I am out.